Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add a fixed size list in our local dashboard and reflect data based on you or your user selection in the dashboard. So this is a fixed size list and this fixed size list helps you or your user in a dashboard to select single or multiple values from the fixed size list and based on the selection the dashboard will reflect the data. So for example, if I select Afghanistan, then the dashboard will only reflect the data related to Afghanistan over here in all of these graph and charts as well as this scorecard. Basically, this fixed size list control shows a list of options from which you can select. The list can come from the values in a dimension or from a list of acceptable values defined for the parameters. Now one major point that's need to be noted over here is that the fixed size list controls can take a categorical parameter as well as numerical parameters from the data source for the filtration purpose. But most often it is useful when the categorical parameter is used in this fixed size list. So let's go and create a fixed size list control. So in our previous video we have created this untitled dashboard in which I have added this chart, this graph and this scorecard and in our previous video we have used or added this drop down list right. So instead of this drop down list I'm just going to simply add a fixed size list over here. So first of all I'm just going to copy this header from here and replace it here so that we should not get confused with this that on which section we are working so we are working in fixed size list right now in order to add a fixed size list what you need to do is that first of all you need to get into the edit mode and then you need to go to your toolbar and add a control section then you need to select this fixed size list once you select a fixed size list then you will be able to see that Whatever category it has chosen by default, you will be able to see all of those categorical list values. So the first thing in the setup is the data source. So it provides the dimension and parameter you can use in the control, right? So for us, the data source is the GDS 44. You can select other data sources also from here, but you have to make sure that rest all of these graph and charts have common attribute as of that data or all of the other charts and graph are created from that specific data source. The next option that we have is the date range dimension. This date range dimension option appears if your data source has a valid date dimension then only this will appear and by default it will take a column in which the date values are present. The next option that we have is a control field this is the dimension to filter by or the parameter whose value is set by this control. So whenever you want to filter the entire dashboard by a particular column then you have to select over here. For example if I want to filter the entire dashboard using country ISO code 2 then I can select country ISO code 2 else in contrary if I want the entire dashboard to be filtered by country name then I have to select country name over here. Now we have default selection over here so basically it specifies the default value separated by comma and you have to be sure to enter the exact values as they appear in your data. For example if I just want data for India and Bahrain then I can write India and Bahrain over here and by default the Google Data Studio or Looker will select India and Bahrain whenever a user will open the dashboard and it will always reflect the data in the graphs and charts for India and Bahrain. So it's only useful when you just want to select few of the countries as a default selection for your users. Now let me remove this default selection and select everything over here. Now the next option that we have is metrics. So this option displays a reference metrics in the control. You can use this to sort the list however you can filter based on the metrics value. 
to hide the matrix value you just have to remove this and then in your drop down list or the fixed size list your matrix value which was appearing over here earlier will not be appear anymore the next option that we have is order so this option controls the sort order and the number of values listed in the control you can sort your values in the list either in ascending or descending order by the dimension value now the next option after this order is show top this option limits the number of items displayed in the control if the number of items available exceeded the limit the remaining items are grouped into all others for example suppose by default it is showing us 5000 and there is a categorical variable where you have 10,000 or 15,000 values then only 5,000 or let's select let's say you have selected 10,000 then only the 10,000 values in descending order will be appearing over here rest all of will be categorized as all other now the next option that we have over here is default date range this option limits the value displayed in the control to the range you specify so by default it will always be selected as auto if you want to select a specific date range you can click on custom and click on auto date range and you can select the date ranges start date and end date and then you have to click apply then by default if the categories are present in these date ranges then your list will have those values else it will not show any value so it's always better to select auto because you do not want to manually select the date range now the next option that we have in the setup is filter so this filter it helps us to restrict the data display in the control suppose if i do not want to show india then i can go and add a filter and then i can create a filter to exclude india by selecting exclude select a field country name and select a condition equal to and then i'll put india over here and then i'll click save and then in this fixed size list india will not appear now if i go to style then the first option that we have is the control it's a drop down it displays the control in drop down box which we have discussed in our previous video but in this video as we have selected fixed size so we will select fixed size and go ahead with the discussion the next option that we have is single select if you select this then it allows your user to choose only one option from the list you cannot select multiple items from the list which by default looker allows you to select so it's always better to unselect this so that user can see multiple countries at the same time now there is an another option which says enable search box so when you select this then you will be able to search the country name over here for example if i want to search anything that starts with ind then i can put it over here and you will see that all the country name that starts with ind is appearing over here right now the next option within style that we have is this text now if you want to change the font color you can change the font color from here if you want to change anything in header you can change the header font color and the header color from here as well as the fonts from here now we have this tick box option so from this tick box option you can change the tick box color so let's select red color over here then we have an option of tick box border color so as a border color let's select blue and the divider color for divider color let's select yellow now if i go to view then i will be able to see that the divider color is yellow the tick background color is red if i unselect anything then you will see that the border color of this tick box is blue which we have selected over here in our style section The next option that we have is label if you want to change the font of label you can select it from here then we have background and border if you want to change the background color the size of the border or the color of the border and the style of the border then you can select it from here so this is how basically you can add 
a fixed size list in your Looker dashboard, which will help your user to select single or multiple values from the list and based on their selection, the dashboard will reflect the data. So happy learning and see you in the next video.